Since the 1950s and 60s, Banjo researchers have been learning more and more about the great diversity of West African pluck lute traditions. What they are discovering is that the collective history of these living traditions shaped what became the banjo here in the Americas. It is important to learn about as many of these traditions as possible if we are going to gain greater clarity about the banjo's early history. We have to be able to account for the ways in which these instruments have been passed from one generation to the next through both oral and written traditions. For some researchers, including me, one way of exploring ideas about the banjo's West African heritage is by becoming a student of tradition. One of the traditions I had the opportunity to study is this instrument, the akonting. It is played by the Jola people in the Senegambian region of West Africa. It has a drum-like gourd body with three strings that are tied at different lengths on the cylindrical neck. Similar to other West African pluck lute traditions, if we were to add a flat fingerboard and tuning pegs, this instrument would then more closely resemble the early banjo in the Caribbean and colonial North America.